Hello and welcome back to day four of our Order Golem build. We are hopefully on the victory path today. We are super, super military hungry right now. Our Grand Alliance has fallen apart. Partially. We lost one of our homies out of it. Uh, but it's been, it's been okay, honestly. When we last left off at the end of the last episode, we had just taken out... What was her name? Bel Behema Gildencrist up at Dractusk. Uh, we have allies taking over Heartfang. We have swept up all the other vassals here and underground. This guy's being vassalized at the moment. And our ally to the south down here decided he wanted to be evil. So he has slowly, slowly broken all of his treaties and gone to war with us. We are pulling everyone back right now, I believe, to Crefin. We have an army marching down here all ready to Flowing Fields. And the idea is we were going to take Flowing Fields... We were going to take Quentin. We were going to sweep across here to Slog Slot, which is actually under siege by the rat. That's good. Our enemies are fighting each other. This is actually really good. Ruins, 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 ruins. This guy might be dead. This might be a lot faster than I thought. If the rat kills him, the next step is like after that, we have to cut through a lot of vassals or just teleport and then go underground through this cave to his capital here at the Yavovec and try to kill him. So today is going to be a lot of war marching. And I believe, I do believe we ended on an intern. Here it goes, son. Let's start it on an intern. You're doing a subdue build with tentacle tomes? Nice. I love it. I have a build that's all about stopping people. So it's like stuns, frozen, immobilize, root. And I'm really curious to play it because I think it would be like super extremely annoying. But it's a it's a total hodgepodge of like it feels like it doesn't make sense. I think it would be a really annoying PvP build, but in PvE would probably get trashed. Tentacle Tome favorite, just such a great theme. It is a really good one. Conjure Tentacle is also, I would argue, probably one of the best, if not the best, early game combat spell that exists right now. Because it's a summon, it has a decent amount of hit points, so people are like forced to attack it. It can always get a flank attack if you summon it correctly. It immobilizes people, so you could just like use it to lock down spellcasters. It does damage on like say like vine vine prison or whatever it's called. Oh, the mistwalkers got killed. My mistwalking babies. They're no more. Can you found a city, make a teleporter, vassal the city, and then still use the teleporter? I don't see why not. With the one exception being that the vassal might build something else on top of the teleporter. New empire development skills available. Is that true? It certainly doesn't look like it is. Unless it was tireless march. We've got estate halls in the north. Temples of Exalted down here. You guys are back on just producing merch. Man, I have like 800 gold income. And I currently have 17,000 mana in the bank. Uh, the one thing we don't have a lot of anymore is Imperium. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. Whoops. So these are my my golem, my smiting golem armies. Everybody else, I believe, should just be on like auto merch. All queued up. Trying to work their way around, getting back to teleporters. And I guess these guys are going for a siege. You have not got 
Or do you? The pole arm guy is the guy who's got the siege equipment. This is gonna be a fight. Uh, let's bombard him. Let's sabotage, break battlements, undermine the wall, tower bombard. Four turns. I'm okay with that. He has got a thousand points. He's rocking exemplars now. He is also rocking shrines of smiting. 700 and there's a thousand points here with a frost dragon well as long as it's not electricity it shouldn't really be that big an issue these guys might fight me and do some serious damage but uh we have reinforcements coming down pretty shortly so frankly we should be fine. Should I cast all active units, gain plus one defense and resistance? I'm sitting here on 600 Imperium and wondering whether or not we spend it. Throne City shares borders. I, I don't really need that. We could grab a breast breastplate of the champion. Gold unit experience. Magic origin we don't really have. Killing heroes we don't really need. But we do kill a lot of heroes. Sensing range is a pretty good bonus. I guess we'll grab the breastplate of the champion. Just so we have a second one. Are all of these armies up here like uh huh? yeah. almost everyone is champion in these armies part of me is thinking about just taking the like plus one level but no it, uh we'll just stay back up and we'll get that plus one defense plus one resistance for everybody got so many armies now we might as well now this guy does have this teleporter here but it's not a chrono gate so he's probably not yeah and he's not astral at all so if he teleports through it we'll see him I think Our puppy dog friend is over here. He can odd fights. He's pretty much just like shifting over and he's starting to cut through all the vassals, it looks like. Which is good for us. You are going to surround me with so many units. Sweet jubble dee bubble dees. Out of curiosity. Now to engage in an hour of combat. <laughs> Woo -wee. Okay, so we are spell shielded. This is the first fight we've had against these guys. We have exemplars, inquisitors, shrines. He's feudal, so he has knights. He's got one hero in here. pretty mixed in terms of armies like he's actually fairly well balanced which you don't always see you're the gruff why don't we just put you there
park a couple ironclads here in the back. I'm not sure that our shrines of smiting are going to do much. Ooh, let's put him there instead so I can keep my cascade command. You're a spellcaster. Okay, so that Shrine of Smiting is not in a good spot. It's a bit exposed. Kind of what I want to do is these, like, um, uh, Shrine of Smiting armies. I, I just kind of want to throw at people. Ideally, I'm going to start sticking, like, three of them together, and they're just going to auto-resolve smash through things. Older game you played? Something you downloaded? Oh, just a bit of the old Age of Wonders. Mission of Woe ain't gonna hit nobody. But a rallying defense on these golden golems. Wouldn't go astray. What do you got for us, Johnny? Stand together. That's a tough one. I think I'm gonna let him charge me. TBH. Bublican, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. I got the destabilized mana core. I just gotta smack if he comes in that way. I think I'll allow that. I think I'm just going to hit him with a pinning barrage. For the fire giant. I'm mostly concerned, I suppose, with these archers. Let's pin that group. We'll hit them with the visions of woe. Visions of woe, daddy. I'm gonna wait to barrage. Aya, what is that? Anthem of victory. The Inquisitor's coming in, getting their stuns. He's gonna summon his big fire pillar. My goal here is to reposition on our turn and just to absolutely slap. That guy is dead, I think. Oh, yeah. We go berserk. Yeah, it's all right. Ding, 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 ding. The chain reposition. And then let's start messing about. I kind of just feel like hit this guy with the radiant bolts. <gasps> I forgot. We set up this wizard so that his artifact does chain damage. Have you take those hits. And you can come in a little bit. You'd have to go all the way around him. And I don't know if that's what I want to do. With those archers out there. You'd get real stabbed in the back if I did that. Yeah, that fury can't do that much. So I might actually just stay put with you. This guy's got a, a smite blast. Currently doing 40, 40 damage because we've got enough faithful to cap this out. So you know what? Actually doing 50 damage.
You are stunned. I see, I see, I see. Get those iron golems in there. Tap this guy up a little bit. Resists all of the gilding. I think we'll just do that so that we get hyper awareness on our guy. We also end up gilding him. Uh, these guys could probably be shredded with a nice barrage. Beautiful. You've got a very tasty smite here I could do for 52 damage on this hero. And I was going to barrage, but I think I'm just going to shoot you. Seems kind of like too good an opportunity to pass up. The Ironclads get killing momentum at their current level. Which is pretty fun. Hope for a crit. No crit, but that's all right. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave those guys. You can't really do much where you are. Probably push through the middle with them. That feels good. We got a huge critical counterattack there. These guys berserk. <gasps> I forgot about this. So we also have the advantage now because we're no longer fighting constructs. We get domain of mayhem. So the computer gets to berserk constantly and we don't because we're golems. What is that? Divine Beacon. Oh, cool. We get schmoted, but saved by the Keeper's Merc. On a bronze golem, also not a big deal. My Shrine of Smiting's got a little bit of heat on him as well. All right. Uh, we got no casting points because I did forget that we are in a uh, a spell jammer. Guild, nice. This guy can attack for free now without far fear of consequence. You're gonna have to go for him, I guess. No guild. Uh, let's move you here and do that. Guilds him as well. We'll go for that Inquisitor. Big crit flank. Love it. Absolutely love to see it. You know what? Raise undead. Kill him. This guy is weak to fire and spirited to corrupted souls. Let's smite him for crazy damage. 86. And then I think I'm just going to go move and shoot. Ironclads do got that killing momentum, so... Why don't we drop like a barrage in here? How did he shot a shot back there? That's crazy. I love these iron guys. They're absolutely out of control. Uh, I tell you what, we're going to load a sundering shot and we're just going to fire that into that exemplar.
This guy's got chain lightning. Or some variant of. We can strike them. I'm going to have you come in here. I'd like to get people off of this um, Shrine of Smiting. So that he can just blat blat. These Night Guard are going to do a lot of damage. Nice. There's that crit I'm looking for, baby. We got a flank fire spirit weakness on these night guard who are going to do a lot of damage. So let's hit him for 112. These guys will also pick up killing momentum on their next level, which means they can spriting prayer blast and then hit with the divine vengeance. Enemy units within a two hex radius sustain damage and get blind. We gonna have some fun with that. Uh, let's have you go in here for the pokey poke. And then, I mean, you can kill that exemplar. So it's really hard to say no to that. Even if it totally opens your back. This knight does so much damage in retaliation. I think I'm just going to tactical wall because that will also give this guy protection. And then why not put the heat on the shrine of smiting just so he can't use his ability. Give him a tiny little blast, and I think we're done. Out. Oh, he condemns my bronze golem at one HP. Rude, dude. Lots of flanks happening. You get hit with that blind, okay? Well, this is all fine. Bronze golems and iron golems are not anything that I'm going to care about at this point in the game. Who to schmote? You go here, you get a flank. Which I think is tasty. Easy enough to kill that guy, but I feel like there's other ways that we can get around doing that. Let's go with you. Nice. Pulls up the lucky crit. He cannot do that. All right, you're going to have to come up here. You're going to come up here. That lets this guy focus on him. that these halberds have three retaliation attacks. But this exemplar is also almost dead. It is dead because we critical like crazy with this build. Uh, I guess you guys can move here for that flank. You're going to join up here on this dude. Guild? No. How about Guild? No. How about Guild? Wow, this was the computer. He would have gilded me like 80 times there. I should have attacked with those zombies first. I actually forgot that they were there. Okay. 
can't reach that fire golem so let's just hit this guy that's gonna crit because this guy's sword almost always crits so i'll just buff them in the meantime and then we have a shrine of smiting and a couple of ironclads Go up here, hit him with a flank shot. It's under his armor. Honestly, I feel like we probably should just kill this guy. Can't do anything else. Their morale is dropping. Ow. Ow. Saved by the Keeper's Mark. Ow. 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 What about my zombies went berserk? I was like, I don't even know what's hitting me here. I killed him as well. Yeah. Let's focus on him. Oi, oi, oi. Send you over. You can do a sweep shot. At least we stack the weakened. Hit him with the blasts from downtown. Oh, Divine Vengeance is only directly around you. That is good to know. Let's make a note of that. Can't quite reach with you. Just even worth doing. This guy's going to get destroyed from the steadfast I was gonna say unless the ironclads can somehow hit him but I don't think they can all right let's see what he does he might just morale break he does not he goes for the kill we came so close to getting out of this scot free Almost scot free. Okay. Not bad. There's a lot more left to fight. God, there's so many more left to fight. Sweet Jubble D Jesus. This is okay, though, because we're whittling down his first line of defense. Which includes all of his nice mythic monsters. We'll go like that. Got this kind of screwed up. Those iron golems don't need to be standing next to each other. Oops, sorry, I thought you were you. Let's put you there. Probably gonna get hit with a really nasty frost dragon breath. That's gonna do a colossal amount of damage to me. gonna have to go there even though you're a wizard just because everybody can't reach feels like I'm missing troops but all 
All right, what are we up against? Skirmishers, shrines, exemplars, a couple of knights, skirmishers. I think I am better off taking the fight to them, but they can't reach me this turn. So let's just hit a pinning barrage for now. Wonder about some sunders. Wondering and sundering, as they say. Get that line fixed up. Ah, oh, the shrine of smiting on the outside might be bad. Uh, we, I don't know. We might not win this fight. This one might be a bit of a messy, messy, messy. Because with the Anthem of Victory giving like strength and regeneration to basically everyone, we get hit with a massive frozen dragon breath. What I don't like is he has all these characters who heal and cast regeneration and strengthen. Three strengthen, two regen, two bolstered resistance. You're stunned. You're immobilized. You're frozen. Do a Sunder Barrage on these guys. Get rid of some of that defense. And those are also pretty heavy shield units. So a Sunder Barrage over here. Nice. Tagged him with one of them. Big distracted flank on him now too. position or do I let everybody go into defensive mode I think I'm going to reposition I only wish I did it a second earlier Slow those guys, or sorry, weaken those guys. I think we'll just nuke him. That feels like the right choice. I'll die if I go in with this iron golem, apparently. So maybe let's not do that. This guy's got a charge, but I'm a little hesitant on where to send him right now. God, there are so many shots here to take. Who chains on that? The Inquisitor. Stunned. Uh, yeah, there's not a good, it's not a good play here. Let's have you do that. You're going to have to come there.
I could move and do a stun with the Shrine of Smiting, but it would pretty much put him in a position where he's just dead. So I think I'm actually just going to blast this guy so we can get the killing momentum. Then I can zombify him. And I can use him as bait. You're going to have to go here for a sacrifice. You're going to go right after him. I think you can come over here so we add compounding defense. Iron golem, iron golems. All right, I'm going to put you here and I'm just going to let you shield wall. You're going to come in here. You're going to guild strike the two of these. And then we're going to have a really bad round where we're going to lose a lot of characters. Strengthened rallies. Oh my God. Yeah, the Exemplar is also just buffing everybody. My gold golems are both blind. But that dragon's gilded right now, which is nice. One iron golem down. Two iron golems down. No, oh, my zombies! Oh, my zombies keeper mark. That's hilarious. I love that the computer is smart enough to be like, you have three retaliation attacks, so I'm going to move, take the one attack of opportunity, and then just take the two, two retaliations instead. Clever girl. I got to take that. It's just too much damage. Can I kill you with that? No, I can kill my own guy with that. Let's go here and then hit like this. Double resist. Just hoping to get some guilds. Yeah. Take the flank on the exemplar. If he moves, he's going to get wailed on. So I could easily just like shrapnel push. Then you only take one shot. Oh, you take two. Never mind. Oh, that's a really good flank on that Gilded Dragon. Being able to shut him down would be really nice. Well, if I go here, no, if I go here, I can kill that dragon and then I can sprint from killing momentum and at least get a shot on him. 
gonna be what we do did i tell you about you were mentioned on the age of wonders 4 subreddit no you didn't was it terrible things i imagine it was terrible things asking about content creators to watch to learn the game oh that's really nice <laughs> they never mentioned me in total war <gasps> they love me they really love me i'm glad to hear that's a nice little perk uh you know what let's actually go up here and just stab the two of these guys with a bit of the guild that guy's gilded so we can safely turn around and fight him you can't do much you can't do much you're gonna be a pain in my butt you should join in on that flank attack if he crits he gets kill and gets the killing momentum If he doesn't crit well never mind doesn't matter <laughs> i guess that's a flank i might as well just take that Here we go. My zombie gets killed by the tower. I get con mass condemned there for, I think, a double kill into a triple kill. You guy dies. You die. You die. You die. You die. Fire golem comes in. You die. Keeper's mark. Condemn and blinds. You die. Oh, no, you don't. That was a retaliation. Golden golem dies. Yikes. All right, this guy's kind of a threat. We have a good flank on him. I'm just going to open up with that. Steadfast, steadfast. Ay, uh. I got so many of these like banner men here. I guess you might as well move here so you can do a triple. Guilds the, uh, the Shrine of Smiting. That's kind of nice. Aren't you high enough level? No, you're only elite. Do you have killing momentum? You shouldn't. You're a mage. That would kill both of them. Let's go here, face that way, and then double blast them. I'm going to load an incendiary, incendiary barrage on these guys. Hope for the best. I was okay. So fire golems got me a little bit concerned. That charge is blocked, but it's a flank. So I don't think that that's true. He got the crit, but it wasn't enough. This guy also gets killing momentum, so we'll make it work. I'm going to load an incendiary shell up in here. Fifty percent. I'm going to take that ninety. Youf. And then we'll we'll go for a flank here, just so that we don't get immediately obliterated. 
Uh, this golden golem can go here and he can attack like this. Double resist. Four resistance. Seven resistance on this nymph. Oh, wow. Consecrated domain is giving him plus two. Order. This battle's not looking great. No. I didn't think it would. Cast condemnation to kill him. All these bolster resistances. Do they have herbivore? Or can carnivore? Corpse eater? Cannibal? Consume flora. Yeah, they do too. Woof. I got a hero down here, but I feel like he is not long for this world. All right, you have this big guild swing again. You actually have a barrage. Picks up a killing momentum as well. All right, I'm gonna have to have you go here, I think. Killed one of them. That's maybe a kill. Yes, good, crits. Love my crits. Do I do chain lightning for seven? Or this for eight? And a little bit on that Shrine of Smiting. I think we just do this. I do have Visions of Woe. Oh, uh, actually, let's cast that. So they the, the, uh, guaranteed fumbles on all of them for the next round. If I flank this guy, it'll get rid of his retaliation attack. Which means at least this golem can attack safely. Not that he's doing a lot of damage, but it's a little bit better than nothing. I kind of think I should come in here and go for blind, but at the same time, he's not doing so much damage anymore because I've lost so many of my units. You are high level. That would give me a lot of stacks of burning, which I don't think is a smart idea. Let's just smite you. Oi, 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 oi. A lot of things have died, which I didn't realize is giving me... A ton of points back. Because death casting is active in this world. Alright, that got me with for the golem. That's kind of nice. What? What? What just happened with that golem? Lady Nisala used Charge Strike. Rolled to hit a critical, but failed. Iron Golem used a Melee Strike. Did damage. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, 
Oh, weird. It looked like that iron golem died twice in that fight, and I, I think I might just be dumb. I might have just confused myself. All right. We can end this. Blast him, blast him. Bolster us. Sweep. That's one guild. I could just get guild kill. It's the other one gilded. This guy gets killing momentum as well. That's good to know. Two shots with that on the flank and then... Now I'm going to get attacked immediately by another three armies. So like these guys are all dead. Right? Like, he's got six more armies here. But with less HP... His ruler is in this fight. Ooh. 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 If we can kill his ruler, he can't cast spells for a couple of rounds. Even globally on the map, he can't cast spells. Kind of crazy to me that we don't have like any healing magic still <laughs> we have exalted champion but that's about it jaded elemental thank you for the follow welcome to the agency mm, no let's move you there put the mage behind if he hits me with like a mass condemn, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah. Let's get that bolstered. Okie dokie. Level nine, spider egg. Dying loyalty. Good to know. He's got universal camouflage. And he's a support build. I'm going to pin them. So that we can try to move up. Don't know how well that's going to work, but... That's what we're going to try to do, at least. Visions of woe. So they're all fumbling for the round. All right, let's see what we got. Jade is such a Gen Z name. Oh, wow. They just completely stripped Visions of Woe off everyone there. Oh, my God. He cast Spur to Action on his Bannerman so he could just do more resistances. So greasy. <gasps> Ooh, my hero's dead. Or is he? Slip away. No, he's dead. I don't suppose we have one of those Phoenix totems on him, do we? Probably not.
Little Thunder Barrage. Cool, probably. Kind of want to shrapnel barrage these guys just to stack bleeding on them. You're stunned. Oof. Feel very oofed right now. Oof. I can't get to win a lot. <laughs> He's got too many units and we have got too little units. Uh, we might as well go here and slap him with a blind. You should have just went up and shield walled somebody. These stabilized mana core hurt us. I believe it do. We'll see if we live the round. Oh. Soothing standard. Ooh, Swamp Troll. Oh. Guild. I feel like the computer gets gilded a lot less than I do, but also this guy has crazy resistances in his army. You just came up front row center and got gilded, I think. Here goes the mana core. How much can I do to you in a single round? Magic Origin Slayer as well. I think I could do it up to kill you in a single round if I'm going to be quite frank. I'll be quite frank and you be somebody else. Suck it, you dweeb! This has been a great success. Uh, I just want to light people on fire here, so I'm going to just throw that out. And can I shoot him? Look at this. Snipe! Get rid of those exemplars. Pick up a killing momentum. Might as well grab a shrapnel shot. Stack some bleed on him. My life for Iyer. I like that he's got like units running from this fight. He dominated my hero. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, that's really bad because I will lose that hero then if we lose this match. And that hero has a crazy amount of items on them. That won't do it. That won't do it. That almost does it. If I had designated them as a target, I probably would have killed them.
That's a rough trade. Didn't know Age of Wonders 4 was turn based. Oh, yeah. Most certainly it is. You can die. You are going to die. This actually just counts as dead. I hope she counts as dead and in my crypt. Otherwise, I cannot bring her back. We just spent like so many turns making her items. I'm literally making her a hat right now, the Starry Shooty hat. She was our newest hero and I just decided to put all of our good items on her. <laughs> Mixing it up with Age of Empires. Yes, yes. Age of Empires is real time. Much different. Age of Empires is about how many units you can put out constantly and just getting your economy up to just flood the map with units is the most important thing in Age of Empires. This game uh, is a bit more about tactics and countering and, and how you decide to do your builds. Who's, who are we on right now? The Goblin? Who is he attacking? Nobody by the look of it. You like this better? I like this better too. I think it's a funner version. Age of Empires, Classic RTS, Age of Wonders, 4X. Yes, absolutely. All right, who did we lose? Both of them. Both of them, they took. That's unbelievable. Angelic transformation. Our little golem builders are now little golem building angels. We get celestial, so we get spirit resistance. Going to be really useful considering who we're fighting. Uh, we do get negative four frost resistance. Might not be so great. Inspiring Camiller and control loss immunity. If only we had that a moment sooner. If only. Uh, the city of Delville has been released as a vassal. Heartfang is being vassalized or destroyed. I'm not really sure. You got healing spires, archer battlements. Winterfold can annex a little bit more. I don't really need that production. Just grab the research post, I guess. These guys are coming down. Those guys are going over. These guys are going over. These guys are going over. Over and over. You're going over. You're going over. These guys are all making armies. I lost two heroes there. And I can't get them back. What a kick in the teeth. Attacks have a 60% chance of inflicting distracted. Mm -hmm. Might as well. Yuck. Yuck! Just gonna start pumping out armies of garbage. By the way, people, I had not heard anything about Fallout London. It was completely blindsided by its release. It's a mod. It is a DLC-sized mod uh, that takes place completely within London. Just came out last week, I think Thursday. A lot of people playing it right now. I haven't honestly heard much about it in terms of like its quality. Ravix Claw has been defeated. 
The rat boy took him out. Great. Oh my god, opponents are still moving. I'm dismissing all these like notifications I need to respond to on my turn. This guy has been sieging this vassal city. Kind of cutting him in half. I imagine there's some underground shenanigans going on there too. But wow, there's only two players left in the game outside of our alliance. It's a uh, three versus one versus one. Yeah. I mean, that looks good for us. One of those ones is super huge, but this guy's moseying up a big army on Stone Root. It is for Fallout 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they uh, they have some sort of thing with GOG where you can download like the whole mod from GOG as like a complete package, sort of like Wabajack. Like they've got them like helping host which is really, really, really cool. Big, big win for GOG as far as I'm concerned. Why not use 67 points to draft from Lieges or yourself or a raiding party? Honestly, that's probably not a bad idea at this point. I've been holding onto it in case I needed it for a vassal. <sighs> Ravenclaw is yeeted into space. You've treated the citizens of Winterfold well and they're holding a parade. Uh, I'm going to take this like 300 Imperium. They freed that wonder. We get severing golems now. The only blast would be really useful. Luxury market also very good. Let's just buy now twice a turn. And makes buy now cheaper. You're going through here. You're coming through here. We got to get ready for that posse. Uh, in the north. Got a bunch of dummies who don't know how to go through a teleporter. Oop. Oop. And my siege leader uh, I guess we might as well just move these guys into Crefin for now these guys need to just stay together Richard Battlements you're making a bathhouse correct Fang Vale, I will just make peace with you. And Windleth has crossed you. Okay. Fang Vale. Are you a free city? You are intimidate. <laughs> Forgot that we could just like boss around free cities like at an insane speed. Uh intimidate. Intimidate. Give Whispering Stone. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I am going to try to make a trade here. I want my heroes back. Particularly, I want my heroes back before they kill them. Oh, they're already dead. Like she has got tier four 
Tier 4. Tier 4. She just got such good items on her right now. I desperately need her back. And Asella was really high level. He's also got the Bloody Edge. The Breastplate of the Champion. He's a bit less good, but... Uh, okay, well, let's take maybe a look at what remaining heroes we have and what kind of loot they've got. You've got a cleansing plate, a trash helmet. Starry Shooty has no good for you. Neither of those greaves. Let's get you a better helmet. Sorry, we need to find somebody to kill. Who got loot? You got loot. Disenchant, 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 disenchant. Hats. This guy is my like pikeman tank. Part of me is thinking I just slap spirit resistance on so he doesn't take any damage. That's going to be very specific for a very short amount of time. Why don't we just give him resistance and two defense? A blocky block blocko helmo. I don't know why I'm naming every item this game. Just for a laugh. Really wish there was an option for this game where you can limit how many armies can reinforce each other. I hate having to move three stacks around constantly and 18 troops is a bit too big for me to deal with perfectly. You can choose when you're being attacked. There's little like check marks. So if you don't want to fight with all three of your armies, you can choose like, I, I want to stay out of this fight. 10 troops at once the most. It feels perfect. Yeah. I mean, things get a bit crazy when it's like you're attacking with, say, six groups and they come at you with yeah like 18 or whatever 18 armies it can't get a bit much uh we have a rally popping next turn so i'm gonna avoid mythic units he says 77 imperium wow i guess we lost a lot of army in that fight Golem, Bronze Golem. You know what, man? Let's just do this. Why the hell not? There's five thousand dollars. <laughs> Cola Seasons is striking this guy again. Should be his capital. It's not. He's also constructs? What? He's undead. That's very confusing. Older Age of Wonders had the number of units, but it didn't feel as slow with it. Yeah, yeah. Chris Lauren, hello, hello. Better than it was in Planetfall. There's no three armies per side. I mean, we are capped at fighting like three armies at a time. In Planetfall, was it, was it you could only have three armies? I mean, on a map this big, I can't imagine that ever being able to work. Probably should be like telling my vassals to attack certain things. Where are you guys? Attacking Smogan. He's got a lot of armies over here as well. He just pulled back to the city there. I 
might send these guys over to this teleporter just so it's a unified front. One thing I think is, I don't know why I struggle with parsing with the different units. It might be a graphics thing. Some of the units look really similar. Like a lot of the archers. You bound a thing, you bound a thing, you lost a bind. Luxury markets. Let's take resurrect. A free city has declared war on me. Okay. A new rally has started. Oh, I can't do it every turn. Okay. Temple of the Exalted. Luxury Markets. Luxury Markets. What does the Crypt Blade do? Unit skill with this to transform it into a decaying zombie until the end of battle. Grab that. Let's grab that. Let's grab. Kind of don't want to do this right now. Because we just lost so many good units. I need to start making severing golems as well. For like all of my armies. Frenzied. Whenever this unit lands an attack, it gains a stack of strengthened. Level six. Oh my god. The heroes I had were level eleven. Uh, but I guess I'm not really getting them back, am I? Not until I kill Silverbridge. In the crypt of Silverbridge? I'm sorry, who is Silverbridge? Silver fence. Thirty eight months later. Sirik, goodness gracious. Thirty eight for two tears. Thank you so much. How you doing today? Happy summertime. How you vibing? If you've not played Spellforce Conquest of EO, I would highly recommend it. I would extremely recommend Spellforce Conquest of EO. I think it is a absolutely fantastic game, especially if you like this style of game. It is the S tier of S tiers, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm going to move everybody else over here. We're going to play it safe around electricity. I don't really want to give these guys the time to heal. But I'm concerned I'm not coming in with a lot of heroes right now. This guy's going to take Severing Golems at three. Oh, you know what? They can also do that faster because they can just buy Severing Golems. Probably should have bought that bathhouse first, though. That would have been smart. Ah, well, you'll live, you'll learn. I need two Foresters to build an armory. Thank you. 
So these guys are new. These are the last golem we were missing. They have weakening bolts. They can cast Dispelling Field, much like the Shrines of Smiting. Each friendly unit within two hexes is one of their negative status effects dispelled. Very nice. For each unit that has a status dispelled this way, it also gains strength into and status protection. So these are like really like kind of support characters. Magical Disruption just hits five random enemies and disrupts them. Oh yeah, these guys are going to be great in the back. So if we have one severing, one ironclad... And like three golden golems and then a hero in the back. That's the ultimate. That's the ultimate squad. I would argue. Can't really do much but hit a lot of interns here. Play through it twice. I like it more than Age of Wonders. I actually also like Spellforce more than Age of Wonders, but I feel like it's a different experience. I think Spellforce is a really good single-player campaign, and it's really, really good to play through a couple of times. I think I've done four campaigns now. And I could probably do one more, and that would be about it. But Age of Wonders, I feel like you can get, like, just endless, endless campaigns out of. You got the flu! Oh, that sucks. That's no fun. That ain't no fun for anybody. Hit five randoms is OP. If it hits five randoms, it hits... And each hit hits everything within two tiles. No, 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 no. Those are two different abilities. The, the hit five random is just... It, it dispels like five random characters. Strips them of all their buffs, though. And does like 30 frost damage. It's still pretty good. Another free city has declared war on me. Where are we? We're on the rat. I'm a bit worried that the rat has been spending all of his time trying to kill this guy, and now he is going to turn with a vengeance on my goblin friend. And this does appear to be exactly what is happening. He's got one more turn at smogged in. I'd like him to do something with these guys. Five hundred Imperium, and I can increase the city cap. I could probably just take Flowing Field. That wouldn't be bad. It would connect all my territory. Give me a size twenty-two city with a crypt and a foundry. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Some sneaky shenanigans happening here. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of worried about that. That whole situation up there feels a little bit dangerous. Which one of you has bathhouse? You do. Uh, you can ditch the cannon. Take the severing golem. You can ditch the cannon, take the ironclad. Armies are a weird mix. Uh, he's just pulled all of his guys out here. Can't reach. God damn. 
Sanctuary. How many units were you looking at here? Lots of sevens and nines. All right, lads, roll it forward. Now, we did just pick up about 3,000 units here. More than that. So that's kind of my intercept force going that way Too unstable. You're orderly. So a combat is really good for you. The goblin just got killed and sent to the, to the, to the vanished land. Vettenberg got flipped. And Fangvale is under siege by the rats again. So he's just actually sweeping this way right now. Five ten. Interested in gold, interested in heroes. He's good alignment. He's a reserved isolationist. He likes empires with a few alliances. <clears throat> he dislikes empires that have defeated other empires and dislikes empires with vassals. Okay, well, we're not going to get along. No two way about that. Uh, all right. You guys are making severing golems. You guys are making severing golems. Golden golems. Okay. Shrine's smiting would be better off probably going up against the rat. Because at least they can zap and do a lot of holy damage. Well, the golems are probably better off going against these guys. I think it's just we'll take flowing field. We'll make it our own city. And then once we're pushing in a single direction, it'll be a little bit easier. Need all the Imperium you can get tier five, super expensive. Yeah, I mean, the fact that I'm at 36 plus Imperium right now is a bit shocking, but that's also because I just recruited like literally armies of fire giants. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Eric. I see you. I see you, baby. Army stack organization dreaded, but feels so good. This is 12. How much did we get in this points? 17, 12, 90. So let's say 3,000, 4,000, probably around 4,500. I managed to rally. And we get even more now. This is up to 82. All right, Shale. You should be taking smog in this turn. Why are you retreating? Don't you even think about that. Take the city first and then retreat back.
That should have been zero this turn, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm really worried about this. Like, he's on his doorstep here with a massive, massive army. Currently, that guy is dead. Like, I'm wondering if I don't send a ton of troops through that teleporter. What's happening here? A vassal has joined us in a big auto combat fight. I'll take that. Again, these were rally units. Uh, the goal of them was just to cut down on the amount of time I had to spend fighting Doomstacks. Thankfully, Prime City has all these armies here to help defending me. I should probably send the rest to Crevin at this point. Prime, can you start defending Crevin? All right, luxury markets. Severing golems, luxury markets. Rune Carver's camp. Uh, we have an Ascended Warrior spell. Which would go really well right here. Locked by Spell Jammer. But of course. Four turns to breach it. Stack of three there. Keep him with these guys. Chris Lauren, thank you so much for the tier one. Much appreciated. Favorite con do you do? I don't know what I owe the honor. This guy needs an ironclad. Now he's a real army. <clears throat> I mean, he needs golden golems as well, but at least he's 1,800 points. Anything being built down here? Just more severing golems. Probably not a bad idea. You guys just do merch into them. Ooh. I guess heal? I don't know what these guys are doing. Uh, let's send them back through here. Wait, 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 wait. I think basically all of their armies are dead. I can't spell jam. Or I can't ascended warriors because of spell jam. I wish I could cast it a second time. I could have sent this guy's army. Kind of feels like a waste, but I guess they'd all get their elite medals or their champion medals. Yeah, you know what? the hell not should probably get her as well until I have those heroes I'm not sure I think I'm just going to start increasing hero cap 
at this point. Power Cleaver. Sure, Breastplate of the Champion. I don't know who I wanted to have that Crypt Blade. God, we lost so many heroes. Spider Egg Demolisher. Casting points. I feel like this is a tier one spider. Yeah, why don't you take the Crypt Blade? And then that'll have to be it for now. Hydro check. Thank you. Gotta drink that water. All right, we're making a thousand bucks a turn, which is 10 times more than I would like to be making. Okay, this is pretty good. So it seems like his best armies cap out at around 12, while our best armies cap out at double that. Unfortunately, it looks like our ally is the same boat. So that's probably going to be a fight. The rat is coming over there and sieging that. He is making a play into Palisade here. A lot of tier one units, though. A lot of tier one units. Okay, so these are mostly just skeletons. Uh, what, what I think I'm going to do is probably take these three Shrines of Smiting armies that are just like trash and, and just yeet them into the teleporter to back up Palisade. Because I reckon they're going to do enough damage that we can just rip through them. And I think for the next book, we'll get um, Toma Zeal. Pick up Gilding Blast for now. You got yourself a competent. Two mines, three mines, four, five, five mines. That's a merchant skill. weird like cannon armies so I feel like don't really know what they're meant to be doing yet really gotta get some of those items back just sitting on tier 4 items uh okay You've got a visor of Farsight. I could give you the starry shooty hat, and that would be much better for you. So let's do that. You've got the sneaky star sneaks. So we should really give you a good armor plate that also does star blades. You're getting the blocko helm. You have a cleansing plate. You just have a flame warding cloak, but it's it's about melee attacks, so. You have armor of life. Honestly, I think we're just going to give her the breastplate of the champion. All right, so the, this city is 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 toast. Is what I'm reading here. Sit on the teleporter. Sit on the spell jammer. Nobody else really matters.
Let's go help out our homies. Probably keep these guys at least close by. I mean, we could send these like nouveau heroes across. What I really want is these severing golems being delivered to the front line to be added into much better armies than these. So I think I'm just going to move these troops up for now. You're going to sit on a teleporter. Crefin got luxury markets. Let's get that armory. I'm going to boost it right away. Knowledge mana. Knowledge mana. Draft. Draft from the Rune Carver's camp. I need the Reaver. No. Oh, we have the War Foundry here. So we've already got the boost to golems. That won't actually get me anything because we don't have magic materials. Quarry, Forester, or mine. Okay. Start queuing those up. Next hero is an afflictor. Could be okay. The Blocko helm is made. Uh, so. What was it that I said? You got the Blocko helm cleansing plate. You could use better greaves. My hero doesn't really have a good cloak. But the other one I said was starry. Starry blades for you. You've got the starry shooty, the starry sneaks. Let's get you some sort of starry blast armor. I feel like we'll make it leather. So star blades. And I might just do flat up hit points. Ignores two status resistance. You know what? Let's just do flat hit points. And this will be the starry safety vest. It's five out of five. Excellent. So now whenever that guy casts a spell, he'll get triple star blades. We got two more turns there. Any Imperium that comes in, we can just keep saving up for heroes. Or we can also get the boost of like plus one defense, plus one resistance. But I, I'd like to see if I can get my two heroes back before we cast that. And every three turns, we can cast Ascended Warriors. So we should also be marching around with like more like legendary tier armies, 2,500 point armies ish. I mean, I'm like, I'm saving Imperium for heroes, but I'm also just like, well, what if I just uh, spent all that Imperium on more mythic units? <laughs> Big fight here for Valen Ford, it looks like. He is more concerned with his vassals than his cities, fool. Tinkermane. Okay, he's actually pulled some units back here. One, one fight. If he's smart, he'll retreat now. Oh, our 
or maybe not. I don't know. One, two fights. Hell yeah, dude. Maybe my allies are not so useless after all. Gloom Hollow leads an assembly. Gracious exalted priest, a singular purpose drives our gathering. Everyone here benefited from your favors. What would you like? Three dark knights. A bunch of draft. The shadow spell Veil of Darkness. Target that is leading an army gains universal camouflage. Eh. Yeah. I'll take 400 Imperium. We picked it up. Gilding Blast. Uh, we officially have every single... Golem. So... I'm going to actually go back and pick up Tome of Zeal. So we can get Legion of Zeal just for the extra spirit damage. It'll be good when we start fighting the rat. Righteousness. And they should be pretty cheap. Uh, you guys can move up this way, this way. You guys are sieging. You can just come down and hang out for now. You can come hang out for now. You guys are vibing. You guys are vibing. Uh, you guys are coming down here, I think, to help. You're vibing, you're vibing. You're vibing, you're vibing, you're vibing. And that'll be the end of this turn. All right, I suppose we're on an enter. I'm Mava. Thank you so much for that primer. Them Bezos bucks, much obliged. I hope you're well. I hope you're vibing. I hope you're having a great day. Mistwalkers, RIP, trashed again. Bounties, we might be able to do some bounties. Whoa, oh, that's our homie. Woof. I love that these guys have been fighting each other. Like this guy's just fighting a war on too many fronts and he can't deal with it. Minus four degrees here. So you got a little too cozy under four blankets. Turned all the lights off. Well, I believe it is 40, four zero degrees here. So I would take minus four and a handful of blankets. I'll tell you that. Though I will say I have the AC running and it is kind of like a fridge in here at the moment. Whose turn is it? This guy's turn. What are you doing with all your armies? Beating up vassals? I'm wondering whether or not I got to deal with these outposts. I guess I could just like move a single tank over. Oh, no, because you need a hero to siege. Hmm. All right. So this is completely flipped. He's managed to turn this around 100%. We're going to help him take Zahatur. I might just like sit on that teleporter. Well, I guess first I'll beat this guy up. Honk honk. Capture and release that. 
Uh, these are my smiting shrines. So they were going to come through here. Hang out with the goblins. There is an Archon's blood here I still have not picked up. This is breach, but like nobody is defending it. I am going to increase my city cap and then migrate this city to Iron Hands. What is he right now? It's the Purring Knights. Yeah, they don't really got much going on. We'll migrate to Iron Hands. Okay. Now we get to march on his capital. We got you. We got you. We got you. We got you. These are all my best armies. These guys are kind of trash. Kind of just like debating who I need to split to take outposts. And I don't really know. Uh, we should, question mark, be able to cast spells here right now. Locked by spell jammer still. Uh, once we get into this area, it will not be blocked. So let's just step one square over. This guy's army is all legendary now. Charge up another one of those bad boys. A bounty has been posted to capture the guardian tree. Uh, I mean, I'll think about it, but probably not. Tuskheim, Draxper, Blade Hollow. What about Zahatur? Impossible. Jemkeep is getting attacked. Oh no, is Jemkeep mine? No, they're the goblins. Okay, never mind. I was like, I know we have like some random. Silver Fence, Vassal City of the Goblins. Oh man, I didn't realize he was losing all those. Center Pike is ours. Bronze Gate is ours. What are these guys currently doing? Automatic. I think let's just start sending them over at the rat. I'm Yakovisk, Gloom Hollow. These guys can start defending Crefin. Probably should have done that a long time ago. And Deville. Uh, you can start defending. I just attack them, I guess. Intimidate those guys in a higher level vassalage. Intimidate these guys into a higher level vassalage. Who's this Fang Bale? Oh, they're getting broken right now, so. All right. We're gonna march on this capital city and take it in no time at all. This flips our next turn. We're making a thousand knowledge around. Docks in the southern hemisphere of Australia. Yeah, yeah. Aussie Lake is gold, depending on where you are. 
They've even been known to get snow from time to time. What's this? Oh yeah, this is our northern crowd. I I'm just going to auto this. I I'm just sacrificing these guys. I don't care. That's the goal, is to start throwing units to the north. Take over whatever we can. Help out our allies a little bit. If we get zeal on these guys and they start doing spirit damage as well, it's going to be really good. Pinkamain, will you attack this city? It'd be really cool if you would, because this would be a really good city for you. You're going to attack the Spelljammer. Oh, that's a start. I mean, honestly, if, if I just shut down the teleporter here, it's probably enough that he could take it. I guess he has to respond to the fact that all of his vassals are being attacked right now, though. More importantly. Hell yeah. Flowing fields, baby. What does the circle of zealotry do? City stability for adjacent provincial improvement. Plus 10 draft per negative or positive level of alignment. We'll keep that. I'll just build that there then. Let's take this guy. Slog slot has declared war on us. Okay. Denounced. Compliment. Compliment. Great. Silver tongue acquired. Great. Vein shale has withdrawn. But he's like not under threat. Oh, actually, he kind of is. Where's your surface? Oh, no. Okay, Lorance is still safe. That's okay. Uh, oh, cool. We can also build Circles of Zealotry now. Which we really should. I think I'm just going to keep doing this. These are going to be my cheapo... Slam jam armies. Can't quite hit that teleporter, but we could send somebody across to attack that town. Uh, you can actually teleport here, which is kind of cool. Probably means we're in a position for a lot of people to start moving. This teleporter is a really great location for us. Now, you know what? You can go there. You're going to go there. You guys are going to come across with this gang. Apparently just have an army of golden golems forming up here. So let's find a spot to put them. You've got a shrine of smiting. Okay, so you need what? Iron golem triple bronze 
You need triple bronze, double iron golems, shrine of smiting. Winterfold can annex more. Ba, ba, ba. We just get a mine. We might as well. Like part of me is starting to wonder about just like, should I be pumping out? Like mage lock cannons in with the shrine of smitings maybe i should be doing that we have enough war spoils at this point that that's something i could absolutely afford to do i can only do it in certain cities though I could give them an overseer, so I could, could do like a mage lock, a shrine, an overseer, one iron golem and two bronze. I mean, it's a bit more rounded for sure. Well, let's go with that. You got a shrine and an iron. Two bronze. Oh, you can't make the other parts. Steel shaper. They still get overcharge. Just gonna do this. And then we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna just pretend like that was. Worked perfect. <laughs> Why not? If we got the money for it, we got the money for it. Oh, that's an enemy army. I did not realize. Eh, it's not a big one, though. This is, though. I think that's a rally. Nine turns on our next rally. Okay. Okay. All right, Rat Boy, you are, you've taken Gem Keep and you've taken Silver Fence. It's not ideal. You got a handful of random armies down here, but you haven't really pushed that far in. You are... Oh, I guess we did not get smogged. I guess this army of dragons came along and was like, absolutely not. Army of bone dragons. That must have crushed him. All right, though. The computer's like holding decent line, though. And they are attacking Zaha Tur now as well. Good, 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 good. City of Thorn. The starry safety vest is ready, so let's go put that on. Uh, so this guy now has triple star blades. Does that work? I actually don't know. And I'm actually, I think it maybe doesn't work. I don't think it does. I don't think it does at all. Do you have star blades? No. Who else would be good with it? Probably you. I don't know why I didn't like actually think this through earlier. God knows I'd ever really think anything through, do I? 
Uh, let's do that with the worker construct nexus. Conquest of a city. Don't really need that. So you're going to come down here. You're going to siege this. Two turns. Two turns pretty much no matter what I do here. So let's just do that. Same there. Uh, we can start the siege of his capital with you. Five turns. All right, five turns siege here. Yeah. Oh, those are two random golem golems. Uh, one of them should go in here. go there trying to find a way so those guys don't just get all like absolutely stomped all at once by accident Severing golems come in shortly. You guys are fine. You're going to sit on this teleporter. Uh, you know what? Let's just burn it. We're going to back him up with our armies here. Everybody else I think is okay. You can make the mage lock overseer combo. Let's so let's get rid of that second iron golem. And that second bronze golem. And then we'll do that. Good, good. Hopefully we get our hero back here in four turns. Disenchant. Disenchant. Head to the crypt. See who's full of items. Anybody? Anybody got a lot of items? What do we need for our best guys and gals? You still kind of got garbage armor, but I think I'm going to give you that starry thing of a job. I kind of want, wouldn't mind putting like more Phoenix downs on people. Twelve, six, six. You're ten. Cleansing plate, block, O helm. Why don't we make you boots? Demolishing, raise undead, siege master, and you have the ring of deflection. Hmm. 
We'll make up Greaves. So this is my uh, uh, Halberd character. Starblaze isn't a bad choice. Fast movement's okay. I mean, he is on foot. I don't really feel like he ever needs to really like get into position. But I don't know. We, uh, you know, it's still pretty helpful. I don't think he has slip away. I don't know, at the same time, like, I could just give him, like, plus three resistance, plus two defense. And they could just be like, thick boy bottoms. It's simple, but it works. But it just works. Next rally's in eight turns. If we want to rally it ourselves, we need to save up 5k. I think we're about to get in a big brew, haha. Uh -huh. uh, the toll of seasons might also come back after us. Not totally clear. Yeah, he's got to keep dealing with the vassals that keep sending armies down. He should probably deal with the fact that I'm sieging his capital. We should also probably get on that teleporter. I don't think he can do much. Silver Bridge! Is that where all my guys are in the crypt? Silver Bridge. I found you. You were hiding in a hole in the ground. Makes it so when shield units, i.e. iron golems, enter defensive mode, all friendly adjacent units get plus five status resistance. Yeah, I'll take that. That sounds okay. You want a peace treaty? No. He once was part of our Grand Alliance, and then he turned to evil. He's becoming less evil. He was pure evil. But you can see that he has 40 from recent events, and he's released a ton of heroes. He also has Relentless Crusaders, which is kind of funny. I could vassalize him. It wouldn't be much. He'd be these three cities. If we vassalize him, we get to send everybody else through this teleporter and just march directly over to the rat to win the game. The flip option is we kill him and we just vassalize his cities. Which, honestly, I don't know. At this point, I feel like maybe we just do that because he's only got these, like, three, so. It's not really going to take me any time to do. Yeah. 
Severing golems. Ironclads. Severing golems. That guy needs another golden golem. Which I thought we brought down. You also need another iron golem. Golden golem. No, oh, I think we've just taken them all out at this point. That's a legendary one, so I might as well keep that in there. Uh, so you're two ironclads. Oops. Two ironclads. Just do that. I'm going to send these guys back. All right. You've cleared Father Oak. Uh, the siege here has dropped, but the good news is, is that now it's our time to shine. Surprisingly, not as good as I thought they would be. ripping through them. That's the goal. Uh, we do have an Ascended Warriors. It would cast really well on this stack. Uh, it's all sort of a mess. Yeah, we'll cast it on them. Lock by Spell Jammer. What? Ah, I see. Wrath of the Emperor. Yeah. Didn't do much damage. Uh, we might as well keep someone just sitting on that spell jammer for good measure. Then we keep cooking. Stacks on stacks upon stacks. Racks on racks on racks. The Mistwalkers again are striking the rat. But again, I can't actually see where they're attacking him. Which has got me a little bit confused. It's all good. He's taking Keystone. Which I don't think he had before. Uh, I am killed here, but that's fine. I had a feeling they might. He shut down my teleporter. Rude. I don't appreciate that. We have another teleporter over here we can use. That's his hero, so if we take this city, we know where his hero is to end it. That guy's going to sit on that spell jammer now. Uh, mana front reaches you. Caravan is losing the war to Rildor Derek. I... 
He will take my lands. What can we do? We can denounce him. I can give you an iron golem discreetly. Growth production is blocked. And you get bigger. Mana font is losing? This war? The guy's totally protected in the corner of the map? I don't know if that's true. Uh, do, 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 do. I guess just capture it. I'll raise this one. No point in it. Just want to make sure he didn't have a place to go hide. At least one hero is required to start a siege. That's what I thought. Just wanted to make sure. Blinding sandstorms there, so we don't heal in that territory. I guess we might as well toss a squad over on that teleporter just to make sure he can't get down here. That's a full stack. we send these over to the war front I don't know what those guys are doing great 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 I was hoping if I built that sanctuary, it would give me two more turns on that teleporter stack. But, uh, no shot. We'll take Legion of Zeal. Which is just extra damage. Silver Fence has gone hostile. That's not really a concern. We got six turns on that rally. All right, lads, what do we got? I don't know why this goblin is not taking Zaha Tur. He really ought to. If we had this teleporter, it would be so quick to get to his front front yard. Because it's basically the moment we win this, we can just absolutely split all of our units out. I'm probably going to send a stack down here just to take our corpses back from Silver Fence, but... Yes. I actually got a bit of an army here right now. I got a bit worried he might try that. What would that put us at? Okay. Okay. So be it. Oh, there's no heroes in these armies? Oh my god. Okay, I actually probably should have just taken that L. 
That's okay. We can do slightly better. Dare I say I am a slightly better player than the AI. <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but... Uh, I beat the AI once or twice in this game before. You know what? We'll, we'll do that and we'll put... Um, just an ironclad there instead. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see the problem. There's a bunch of dragoons in this army. See the problem clear as day. These aren't golems at all. All right, Johnny, what do you got for me? Sometimes the AI does better too on occasion, at least for other streamers. Oh, it, it, the AI knows how to handle itself. Being too shabby. These guys are all mythic. Not a lot of immobilise. Can't really hit me. But he's going to buff up a lot. A lot, a lot. Ow. Ow. Let's go, homies. Time waits for no man. Time waits for no golem. Tyrant knights. Ooh. All right, we're going to reposition. That's the easy first decision. You got stunned. Ironclads, I feel like probably should use them. Clear out all these trees. All right, very good. If you attack him, you can go for him. Sweep him. Are you elite? No, you're not. So you don't have killing momentum. Oh, that's a storm giant. Okay, weak to fire. I really don't love this Tyranite. I don't really have any good shots against him, so... I'm going to overcharge the Shrine of Smiting. I'm going to 
have one shot the exemplar. I am stunned now for two turns, but I think that's still kind of weirdly the right choice. Uh, okay, you're gonna have to go here. That storm giant is going to do an insane amount of damage if I even touch it. Just going to have to soak that. There's not really anything I can do. That is not a flank. I don't know why that's not counting as a flank here. Did on the distract, which is kind of curious. Uh, let's patch up that iron golem. And I think that's probably all I can do. All right. The shrine is construct. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was a, a major tipping point in this build was me realizing that I could just soup up the shrines. And if you take Faithful, uh, all of your Spear and your Bronze Golems and your Iron Golems all get Faithful. So the Shrines of Smiting stack off of them. It's been a very nice yet very foolish idea. I'm going to get dunked on a lot of this. It's not the end of the world. Like, this is a Dragoon army that we've been, like, just carrying around for a long time and it's fighting a rally army a mythic rally army so yeah i might actually just lose this fight uh, if i'm gonna be real they just have so many mythics we should be able to get some solid damage in but You take that. Then you can take that. You've got a flank on him. Let's get rid of that shrine. He must have keepers marked. That guy's got triple attack. So I'd rather just take one. And the runes of retaliation, I guess. I didn't really set myself up there very well at all. Uh, dee 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 dee. How do I do this? I gotta get rid of this lightning golem, lightning uh, uh, giant. I realize I'm stacking bleeds on myself by accident here, but I don't really have a choice. Raised. Oi, oi, oi. What a mess. I might have done better in the auto resolve here. I'm even joking. Go there so I can get the flank.
get rid of him. Pick up the killing momentum. Just push you back. He's going to get lightning gianted next round. Which is what it is. You might as well take that flank shot. I'm leaving a lot of my own flanks open in this fight, but... Don't really feel like there's much for me to be doing. I think the AI actually did better on the auto resolve than I'm doing by a long shot. They only had like two units left alive. But they're going to end up having an entire army of all of their mythics left out live. This is terrible. Can't do magic tincture. All right, let's start with the cannons. He might die anyway, but we all see. Light him up. Dude, this halberd has 133 HP. Signet of knighthood as well. So he's got to stand together. Uh, Earthkin giving him the plus one defense. Feels like he is just insanely chonky right now. Well, we might as well take that. Good grief. Kill him. A little flank damage on him, at least. Smite. He's still overcharged? Oh, it's like the whole map he gets it. Take like that harrying shot and hide. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to move forward and barrage here. Just really hoping I could get the kill on that giant with him. But alas, let's have you sprint into cover. Not that it's likely going to do much, but might save you just a smidge. Yeah, my cannons. Shoot them. Shoot them good. Four times regeneration doesn't do much if you got nothing left to regenerate. Nobody's low enough to kill with Wrath of the Faithful. No, so we'll just hold it. God for Keeper's Merc. He just poisoned his own fire giant, which is kind of cool. I think. Rip. 
Ooh, 84 damage. Christ. That guy missed me, but he still added burning. Oh no, no he didn't. Damn man, that berserker just hit like a Mack truck. 49 and nine. Savage Strike plus eight. Ten percent damage for negative status effect. Zeal damage. Five times strengthen. Hoo-wee. That's a flank, so I'm going to take it. All right, my cannons just have to move forward. I can't really do much with them, unfortunately. You guys look like you're steadfasted, so you're stuck. You wail on this giant. The smart thing to do here is try to pin him down, even though I know it won't work. Excuse me. My goodness, he's out of control. Oh, little baby shot there with that dragoon. That is not what I wanted you to do. Uh, yeah. Oh, that dragon is dead. Runs in, gets a bleeding stack. I knew better. I screwed it up. That one's on me. I guess the downside of Dragoons is that they literally don't get defensive mode. Oh, he's just butchering my guys here. Oh, my shrine. Whoa, my Dragoon. Can't hit anybody. All right, kill that. I try goons got steadfast on him right now, so I'm okay to shell that area. him probably a waste flank him back I guess uh you can't do much anything but we might as well give you hyper awareness
them with the pinning barrage marked sundered none of them got pinned yikes how good is auto resolve in this game very accurate it's very accurate auto resolve i would argue want to get a co-op game going but don't want to slow everything down with battles uh so if you're doing co-op you can actually set it so that like if you're fighting the computer it automatically auto resolves like you don't even have the option you're not allowed to fight computer fights basically there's a whole bunch of really good options uh for multiplayer for doing things like that because i think they realize like it it, it just gets slowed down way too much if you don't how is that not a kill? Oh, he's he's steadfasted. Sorry, what way are they facing? North. Blank. Retreating. Kill in momentum. All right. Well, that's better than losing. Not much better, but we kept a couple ironclads out of it. Now he's for sure going to go for them again. Is he? Mm, looks like he's coming down from the... Uh... I don't know what he's planning here. This was a full army that he just didn't use. And it's enough to take those guys out completely on his own. I guess he just knows he needs the defensive fight here. Pretty good. The AI fights pretty well. Much better. They hold up. Shockingly, surprisingly well, I find. Uh, okay, you guys are just going to chill here, I think. Help him attack Zaha's her. You guys are vibing. You guys are... Vibing. Four pits army. No reason to just needlessly sacrifice these guys. Roll them back. What is this fight? 75 versus 19. Okay. They can get all the way down here in one move. do that just wipe those guys out now 
then we fold back to the main army. He sits on the teleporter. You're going that way. You're going that way. You're going that way. You're vibing there. Set production in flow and fields. I guess I'm just a call. Stone root can annex another province. Wow. The slow growing stone root. You've leveled up. Master of Disruption. Physical melee and ranged attacks. 60% chance of just temporarily disabling unit enchantments. That's so good. Stupidly good. You have also leveled up. You will also take that. We got seven spells ready to cast. Spelljammer is active here. Otherwise, I take a heal. Nice. The rat lost a fight. Don't ask me where. Fettenberg. Blade Hollow. Oh, that doesn't look good. He's taking Silver Fence back, but he's losing Quenfjord. What about Valenford? Can we do Valenford? Offer more mana. I don't want you to do it. You're the uh, you're the wrong character that I want to do that. I might as well make a few bounties. Uh, we got a rally in five turns. Refreshing. Honestly, we might just be able to pop it right now. Sixty four hundred. Never mind. We got more points than I thought we did. Rally of Kings really adding up. I don't see his Lord here anymore, but I also know that his Lord has camouflage, so. No, oh, this is going to be easy. This is just like all support characters in tier one. All right, Wendelith, this is your last chance to stop me from taking your city. And then immediately killing you afterwards. He's pulled all of his guys out to that teleporter. Okay, no, he's bringing it back in. Yeah, all right, you brought it. You brought a little bit of backup. Tinkermane. Has taken gem keep back. He's taking silver fence. Sailing to the defense down there. No, actually, he's not taking silver fence. He's decided this isn't worth the time. But he is going for Zaha Tur again, so, you know, fingers crossed. Mass Revive is going to be really good. On certain troops. You're going to get your thick boy bottoms. 12 defense and 12 resistance. That's that's mean.
Quentin is breached. I think the gang's all here. We might not even need to fight it. 71 to 28. More if you get the fact that we got bomb birds. Yeah. Where did he put his army? In Crosswall? Oh, you better not have. How do you still have troops in this city? Get out of here. Skedaddle. All right, some of these guys kind of need to heal. Not a crazy amount, but a little bit wouldn't hurt you. You're in fine shape. I'd like to move you up here. 10, 11, and 13. You're out of movement for some reason on one of your golden golems. I do not understand. Uh, I can move on this spell teleporter and our spell jammer and then heal and then move back. I think we'll keep you guys just like in the city for right now. You're on a teleporter. I could put you anywhere I want. Would you be useful in the north? So I could lead some sieges, maybe. I think that's an option. These guys are awaiting a Shrine of Smiting. That stack's ready to go. Some of these guys can merge up. Monolith, grab market, I guess. Okay. And so we know that she's in Crosswall. Can I get her out though? Is the question. I guess also if I vassalize this, does she get a different throne city? That I ain't sure. Uh, we'll take Master of Disruption on you as well. I think I'm going to start shifting your items around. You have a 20% helm. I think you have a 20% helm. I'm going to equip that. His boots are important. His vest is not. Your chest piece kind of sucks too. So do your legs. Mm. 
no idea who that guy is, but here goes all his stuff. Can we get any good legs for our main hero? Why don't we throw very fast movement on him and then slip away? And like, I don't know. Slippery? Slippy zoom boots. Okay. Turn 131. Not bad. Well, a lot of our campaigns end around this period. This is when like the early score victories are. Turn 130, I think is short score or normal score. We're topping military. We're topping score by quite a bit. I am way behind on magic, but that's because I don't have any bound wonders. Uh, though I could easily have a one or two. I would just rather have these people running armies. Attacking Gore Pit. Alright, so this is the rat going right now. I guess it's m most of his forces are tied up here. turns on Zahatur. Uh, what are you doing? Sneaking? <gasps> Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Their, their army actually just like stay, stepped out. That includes their leader. I don't know if I can get to them, but if I can, or at least keep them from getting back into Crosswall. Nice. These guys just won a big fight at Valen Ford, so they should be able to take that. They're also taking Vettenberg. I don't know why I just got like a military victory update. All right, so I can't quite reach all the way here. I can attack, but I know he's got more than one army there. Oh my God, he's stacking all of his heroes in a single army too. All I need to do is kill him. None of the rest of it matters, but he's going to keep his guy really far back. And this army is trash. Pinning barrage. Does 30 physical damage. Wrath of the Faithful does a fair bit. He's only got 100 HP. He's got good spirit resistance, so Wrath of the Faithful is not a good choice. I should have summoned a, um, like an Ironclad there or a Severing Golem. I am going to try to just like blitz him. He's going to have a third army in here too. I don't have any like combat map spells, do I? 
Not one. Hilarious. He's got a lot of units in here. Okay. Last time we fought him, he, he did like a really greedy play where he tried to like rush in after us. Where is he? He's right in the middle. But like if he gets in and I can maybe like overclock uh, the Shrine of Smiting. It's a possible. It'd be hard to hit with mist clouds. He's also got so many heroes that they might all just teleport in and try to Shrek me. Like I want to hit him with that pinning barrage, but Oh, what did he cast on me here? What is this? He did he destabilize a mana core on top of me? I think he did. Oh, no. That's a mage lock. That is a charge charge lock. sacrifice yourself to lock him in place huh? I want to wait to use the overclock until like the last possible second Oh, we also have Domain of Mayhem on our side. Yes! Yes! The Berserker flanked him! <laughs> ah. Oh my god! Yes! That's so good! He's trying to run. That's the funniest goddamn thing I've ever seen. He gave a second round to the Berserker and the Berserker just hit him again and crit him the second time. Holy God, that's so funny. Pin? Didn't pin him. That's not great. I think he will escape. If he flees, what happens? I'm not actually sure. All right, I'm gonna try to kill as many heroes as I can. I think is probably the best choice here. I guess if he flees and they win, it's not a problem for him. Probably should not have broken formation there.
Ja, Berl. Ah, yeah. Another hero. He's gonna flee. We're gonna get massive barrage. And then I think we're just gonna get whipped. I might, maybe, might be able to get that mage lock. If I'm lucky. I'm completely pinned there. No, never mind. Yeah, see, if I had the ironclad, I could at least, like, push people around. I want to push you around. Well, I could hit him with a pinning barrage. But that won't be enough. And Wrath the Faithful won't be enough. And the destabilized mana core is too slow. I will. I can't believe that berserker. It's so funny. I was kind of hoping that like, oh, if he fled, does that mean he flees from combat and respawns at the capital, which he can't do? Yeah, I guess we get one more turn here because of uh, Keeper's Mark. God, my guy's just getting absolutely just shocked around. Ah, at least we get a Mythic. Uh, you're all keepered. All right. Good try. A little bit of berserk happening there. Almost had some good kills. You get dropped, and finally, you get dropped. Flee! So how does that work? If you flee, where do you go? I want to know. Oh, oh, yo. Surely you don't get to just respawn at your capital. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. You look like an army ready to attack the enemy. Why don't we just send you through... Here. Which means these guys need another army as well. Okay, all that's looking good. 
You've returned to the capital after a tie. I think you've ret capital after a tie. Not what you were trying to say? <laughs> I do think you're meant to respawn at the capital. Whether or not they do, or how that works when I'm vassalizing the capital is a whole different story. That I got questions about. Twitch not cooperating. What else is new? Ain't that just the usual nowadays? Twitch being cranky about something or other. Now he's not in that army. That's sieging the Garden of Bliss. Nice. These guys saved Quenfjord. And they're playing, making a play on Blade Hollow now. Puppy Dog is up. He's getting attacked a little bit. got an army of 251 here what i don't want to do is have to siege down your city another you know four turns because you managed to get your hero out but i think that's what i'm going to be stuck doing All right, you guys are almost done up here. Oh! Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! Looks like my teleported army proved its value today. You're done. You're done as dinner. Goodbye, R.I.P. So I guess because they win the battle, even though they flee, they get to come back. I'm just going to take that. And I should be getting a notification now that says that they are dead. But I guess I'm not. Maybe it just happens at the end of the turn. Uh, I did lose a gold golem there. Just a bit of a bust. But an extremely small one in the grand scheme. I now also have a hero up here, so I can start attacking with armies. You got a Masonic Hull. You can get Covenant. I mean, none of this really matters. We got level up on you. Disruption shots. Null shields are ready. Which is a huge buff. You've withdrawn. Captured, captured, captured. Bounty updates, bounty updates, bounty updates. I don't really care about. Two turns on the rally. Uh, all right, let's just rally the whole army. Six thousand four hundred gold. 
don't know, maybe he gets like the turn to take his city back. A new capital in the south. I don't think he should. I think that Quentin still counts as his capital. None of these have the crown on them. Right? Oh, you've got to be absolutely kidding me. What? How is that allowed? His old capital still exists. What a goddamn pain in the ass. All right. Well, he can't meet with the might of our economy anymore, so. Uh, yeah, we'll just steamroll across to Gore Pit, Silver Bridge. <sighs> That's so stupid. So I guess you have to just, like, not take their city. Uh, all right where are my good armies here we're gonna take that next turn Captain, my captain. You're going to start sieging Crosswall. Looks like four seems to just be like the minimum turns it's going to let me do. Uh Oh, you also lost somebody. You lost a golden golem. You need a golden golem and you need a severing golem. You're going to sit there on that teleporter. You're going to sit there on that spell jammer. Uh, actually, no, you can move off the spell jammer. You can move up while they heal. This is another shrine army. Send them to the north. Building, building, building. Good, good, good. Bounty update. City releases a vassal. Intimidate Whispering Stone. You're in the void. Doesn't feel like they should be able to move their uh, throne city when they're in the void. Yeah, I might. I might actually just. I was. I was literally clicking on him just then to see whether or not he would surrender. The problem with the vassalization is that they can choose to break vassalization later, but at this point, I just feel like we're so much of a steamroller so we probably start fighting these dragon armies then again I think we'll be fine I think we'll do okay And 
I kind of think I'm just going to have this little uh, force just go straight for the capital. See if I can get the rat. Easy clapped. There is a chance if I just siege the rat city that he will immediately surrender. The computer kind of does that sometimes. Yeah, he's moving up here again. Okay, okay. Well, we learned a valuable lesson about vassalizing capital cities, which is not something I ever knew about before. I actually didn't think you could move the capital under like any circumstances. I thought even if it became a vassal, it was like, that's still your capital. It's very confusing because um, this guy, Akram Hunt, right? He lost his capital. Here, I think. And then he had these cities up here, Sayato Tur, but he never moved his capital in the end. He just sat there like until he died. But I don't know, maybe they didn't maybe they didn't actually vassalize his capital. Maybe they were just like occupying it the whole time. Bada bing. On the road again. I did as you asked. The bounty is fulfilled. My slippy zoom boots are also ready. Got spells ready to cast. Ascended warriors, I suppose. We should just keep charging. Uh, you are a severing golem to go in there, I think. No. Why did I say you needed a second severing golem? I guess she is frontline, but... I am losing 23 Imperium a turn. Ball. Uh, none of you are mythics. None of you are mythics. Uh, where am I gonna get that? Where am I gonna get that back? I'm just going to keep these guys together right now and we'll go down south with them. Take that city full of our heroes. All right, whatever. Uh, ah, that's why I'm at negative 23. Suddenly, this makes a lot of sense. Do that, 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 that. Skip the Shrine of Smiting. Oh no, the Shrine of Smiting can go in there still. Uh, I'm going to send all these guys right here is what I'm going to do.
Who would have guessed rallying 6,000 units would have cost me a small amount of Imperium? All right, we can move up there. This is another full stack of these guys. Has removed to Quentin. Free City has declared war on me. Bounty update. Message received. They have many cities. All right. He won't even consider it unless I siege his throne city. You can move your capital. Apparently, it's done through the province interface. I had to look it up as well. Who knew? So part of me is wondering, like, should I make Kref in my capital so I can just be, like, on the front line? Transfer throne. Noted. Well and truly duly noted. I have five, six. I have six stacks up here. Yeah, I'm going to go straight for his city. Even if I can't take it, it's just going to put enough heat on him that um, he's forced to do other things. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nice. Balen Ford is done. I think basically I'll have an army go down here and an army go to Gore Pit. Split this stack in two. Make just sure there's a hero leading each side. And 25. That's only 80. I can suffer this Imperium loss for a while. Especially because I'm going to keep getting more vassals. I just got to stop building any more units. Okay. Bounty fulfilled. Divine protection. New book unlocked. I would love the Tome of Teleportation. I don't suppose I can get that, can I? No, I need six Astral. No, I need three Astral. Yeah, it's still not that easy to get. Monuments of Stability, Strength and Morale, Supreme Magic. Uh, it's a battle magic spell. Kind of also just trying to think about like what's good for my characters, my, my heroes right now. I don't think Cleansing Flame Herald is something we necessarily need. Support battle mages. It would cause all of our units to inflict burning damage. Which could be good. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other option would be like Crucible. This would get us some attack spells, which we don't really have. You know what? Let's do that. 
We can also pick up meteor strikes. Fire is just as good as spirit if we're fighting um, it's not undead units. A glorious spectacle to behold. A union of fire and earth streaming inexorably toward your enemies. We'll take lava burst. All right, you guys are just going to start merging this way. A big old stack. There's another crowd right there as well. A little golden golem delivery. Uh, for whatever reason, they've decided to not stay inside the city walls here. So let's just... Kill them. <laughs> As it were. Very good, sir. Uh, now, I need... You're going to go to this city of Gore Pit and you're going to start sieging it. Because you are my other siege master. Somehow it's going to take you five turns. And uh, I guess this guy is going to go down that way. Go with them go with them with them this guy could stand on the spell jammer for right now okay 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 those are all uninhabitable let's grab that Meteor strikes. Max out that guy's army. This is only for one turn do we get divine protection. So I feel like just casting ascended warriors over and over again is more worthwhile. Vettenberg has declared war on us. That's fine. I don't care. That's taken next turn. That's currently being flipped. Gore pits in four. This will be in three, probably. Couple turns to march to Whetstone. We got armies marching on Diablo Vec probably maybe three turns away, maybe four, maybe less if they all get spanked right now, which it looks like this guy is absolutely going to get spanked. Oh, that's a big army. How do I feel about this? Let's try to auto it. All right, let's fight it. I should not be fighting this. It's a waste of my time. I got a bunch of dragons and stuff. I was thinking the Shrines of Smiting should be able to do like a crazy amount of work. But I guess we gonna find out real fast how good they actually are. You know, all of his guys are undead, so they're all whiteborn. No, he's not really falling for the center path here. It's 
So I think I'm going to do a little of this. Try a little of that. He is probably going to come in and hit me this turn, right? Yeah, so let's cascade. Get that crit, that watchful, that spell tempered shield defense. Damn. Those are some stats. I get hits with Vicious of Death, a massive frozen. How is it with spell tempered shields he managed to still freeze every single one of them? Damn, that's crazy luck. I'll tell you, I'm going to get AoE blasted here quite a bit. That being said, though, we didn't actually take that much damage. You're a wizard hero, so why don't we hit you? 70. I really should have overcharged that, but um, whatever. goal here was not to actually have gaps in my defense and I just kind of screwed that up all right screw it go for him let's show him what kind of damage we could do babies They got all these support heroes back here. It's very funny. Should I reposition? The Steel Shaper doesn't have linked mines. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Good to know. Solid crit. I mean, I guess that, that dragon's going to fly in here and he's just going to tail whip everybody around. So why don't we put you in here so that he can't get to the mage locks? Mm, you know what? Cover him. He's probably more of a threat. And then I'm just going to let these guys shield wall, shield wall, shield wall. And I'm going to hit him with the hitting barrage. Mobilized. Painful curse there. Yep. That dragon just like deleted my steel shaper. Oh. My plan had stopped working because I'm being surrounded and flanked on all sides. I've always wanted to go out here and see how it would work. And the answer is not very well. All right, let's blast him. Get him with a good flank kill.
Uh, you can go for him. You can really only go for him, so you might as well. And you might as well get the kill. That ain't gonna do a lot of damage. Ow! Probably should have turned around before I cast that, but... Big hits, big hits. Let's take this. You're gonna go for that and open up your flank. Oh, I do have a guy up here still on the inside. Meow, 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 meow. Mass revive costs 65, so I kind of don't want to cast anything else. But Wrath of the Faithful does a crazy amount of damage. Which I actually forgot about. These guys are all going to turn on that dragon next turn, so he's pretty much dead. Death casting is active, so like we're going to get a bunch of units back anyway. Oh, they resurrected their hero. They also killed my Shrine of Smiting. I guess these are probably mostly necromancers. Goes my cannon. The Shrine of Smiting is still alive. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. How much damage do I do to you? Not that much. You're a wizard though, right? Yeah, you're not. So let's nuke you. I'm just going to be able to revive almost all of these golems. So I'm honestly not like too panicked about it at the moment. him uh -uh. you could kill him you could also kill him so why don't we let you do that and then you can just weaken him Das is fine Now, I can't resurrect units if he makes decaying zombies out of them. <gasps> Angel zombies! Cute. But also highly problematic. I am going to have to cast that mass revive maybe this turn. I think I'm not going to get most of my units back if I do. Why don't we wait one more round? Nope. 
think I was in his range. You're immobilized, I guess. You're immobilized. You're immobilized. If I wait a turn, am I even going to be alive long enough to cast it? I feel like probably because Keeper's Mark should keep some people alive. Oh my god, that guy just got 20 HP from regen. Okay, there's a massive part of this that's not working because they keep turning me into zombies when they kill me. We got to keep this in mind for the future. Uh, Mass Revive. Mage Lock. Two Bronze Golems. Is that really all I can get? Hold on. Surely I can just have some of my other units get themselves killed in the process. No, that is, in fact, it. Oh, I don't even get a turn with them? Oh, damn. All right, so Master Vibe is really only for after you've already won. All right, let's just turn this on auto. If you've already won the fight and you're just trying to bring your troops back, that's what Master Vibe is really for. God, he's made so many decaying zombies out of me here. One, two, three, four. Maybe more. Oh my God. I underestimated how well he would be able to keep units alive and keep bringing them back from the dead. Uh, we get an ability, I think we're researching right now, called Null something or other, and it destroys every corpse on the map and then heals us based on those corpses. And I'm seeing it's going to be kind of important. I don't know, we still did okay. That's going to be a harder fight. I had anticipated though. Also, all of his territory is in ice. At least on the surface. So he gets a bunch of bonuses there that we do not. That's okay. Little regroup. The shrines of smiting are really good if I can protect them. The mage lock cannons, I think probably not so much against these guys. So I will probably sub some of them out. The golden golems will work really well because decaying zombies will just um, get gilded. There's such low chance that they'll attack a golden golem, get gilded right away. And then we can just like AOE guild burst. Yeah, this guy is absolutely getting destroyed. other items do we need I, thought I swapped your stuff out but clearly not she could use some good boots. Oh, we're being attacked here at uh, this vassal point, Gore Pit. Ain't no trouble. Ain't no trouble at all. Uh, I think I've decided I'm going to...
just change one little thing up here it's a free city that doesn't belong to anybody Don't see why we shouldn't take them. Great bombard, sabotage, blah, 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 four turns. Bring some giants to help out. You guys are on gore pit. Cross wall is breached and destroyed. And vassalized. War March continues. Okay, so I'm going to unequip that so I can give it to my other guy. And then I said I was going to make some boots. I think I'm actually just going to make the... Um... Thick Boy Bottoms for our other goblin. Those felt kind of effective. Let's regroup my good units here. And then maybe I can like back these out. All right, whatever. I'm, uh, th those people can die. This is a random squad of rally trash. They could come up here as well. You want to make a truce. Not going to happen. Okay. I still really want to see if we can beat this today. This, uh, this shifted throne city really, uh, slowed things down here an unnecessary amount. Oh, man. I wish I had some world map spells we could cast. Or I wish, like, everybody else would also just try fighting these people. I guess when they're the only ones left, they might actually make an effort, but... Right now it feels like they're mostly just doing some, like, vassal trading back and forth. He's got like a lot of vassals still underneath here. One, two, three, four, five. He's being hit by mist walkers again, apparently. I don't see them. So I'm very confused about where they are. Because they should siege a city the moment they spawn. Maybe this is it, though? The Dark Forge? Oh, yeah. No, that's actually them. Yeah, you're 
with like a level six hero. You do have a champion of the breastplate though. I might take that breastplate away and just throw her in auto resolves until she dies. There's the heroes I want to have live, and I'm starting to realize I could just throw a lot of heroes that don't matter with the amount of money and mana we have. Oh, or I could just throw these other three armies at them. I can out eco them. Capital under siege. Total of seasons. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do this. That's okay. That was a lot of legendary characters we killed. Holy moly. I'm just going to move you back a little bit over here. <laughs> Get some of our other backup coming in. We're back to making like positive Imperium. Maybe I'll just do that, honestly. Kind of makes sense. In the weirdest way. A great foundry. Bonus is for adjacent mine. Oh, that's really good right there. So if I do two bronze, an iron, and then an ironclad, a severing, and a shrine of smiting. Oh, well, I guess the problem with this is that the Shrine of Smiting requires other faithful units. Right, 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 right. Of which the Overseer counts. But the others don't. So maybe it's just two iron and an Overseer then. Maybe that just makes more sense. Steel Shaper doesn't really count, but it's okay. We make it work. Uh, you guys go on the war march down this way. Captured, captured, captured. Compliment, compliment. This war is tiresome, he says. I'm glad everybody is finding the wars tiresome. <laughs> Hopefully we can get out of them pretty soon. Two and two. Uh, you're going to come up here and join these guys. You have one bronze here, so let's do a second. Two iron golems. An Overseer and a Shrine of Smiting. Is Thermy going to kill us? I don't think so. I think we'll have him. Nice vote. Interesting results so far. I'm really excited to check it. If y'all haven't, if you're watching and you haven't, hop on the Discord, vote for what games you'd like to see in the next little bit. The next couple of weeks are pretty clear of new releases, so I'm debating whether we... I'm not going to, like, stop playing Age of Wonders, but uh, I'd like to play some other stuff spittled in between as well. So uh, we've got a vote going on Discord right now. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can uh, click a link down in the description below, I guess. Come check out the Discord. Uh, come vote for what kind of games you'd like to see on the channel as well. I'm taking suggestions always, but we have a bunch of different ones up there. And I'm curious what people want because we got time to do like a big campaign or something. Like a big full playthrough of another game before we start hitting the fall releases. So I want to know what people want to see. Dorn! Good night or good evening. Good afternoon here. A good time zone to you. The faith-based golems. You haven't put No Man's Sky on there. Everyone's playing with the newest update. I actually don't own No Man's Sky and I've never played it. 
I played a lot of Elite Dangerous. And I have like a like a Hotas controller, like a joystick and throttle. So those kind of games are really dangerous for me. <laughs> I play a game like that and suddenly I'm like wearing a VR headset with a full like flight cockpit in front of me and it's just a mess. Uh, what's going on here? Gore pit? Let them go. We don't need to bother citizens. Lava bursts. Consecrated domains. Vault repeaters. And I go workforce. Why not? They fled. Our attack worked. Scared them off a little bit. Oops. You guys vibe, you guys vibe, you guys vibe. Uh, you guys are... Here, come in here, come in here. That force of stakes. I like fully healed here. I don't know if I want to hit Whetstone first. many hand turns they're so slow shock and horror don't know where i played it but i haven't played it you have played it so i don't know where i played it but i haven't played it i'm very confused it is meant to be good a lot of my friends uh like quite enjoyed their time in no man's sky a lot of it was about like breaking the economy for them and i do love those kind of like space exploration games but very different vibe. Tempted to buy it just to reward the hard work of the dev team? Yeah. I mean, it's definitely been a comeback story. Ain't no doubt about that. Could have disappeared with the money, but it, instead they admitted they didn't deliver what they wanted to and got to work. Yeah, I mean, it's one of these funny things where they were like... They were just kind of like... Uh, uh, they had a vision in mind and they were like, we want to play this game, you know? We want to make this game the game that we want to play. So they stuck to it. They stuck to their guns. And I'm glad they did because they clearly made a good game in the end. Gotta respect that some studios clearly don't care about after release support. Yeah. I mean, they were also like not a publicly owned company, so they didn't have like the fiduciary responsibility to the shareholders. And that's why like a lot of big companies you see just like dump games and run because they're like, we'd like to make this a good game. But we legally can't because of this weird rule. We gotta make sure the shareholders. Won't somebody think of the shareholders? Why does this guy have demon gates? Second question. How does he have demon gates? Demon gates come from a very high level chaos tome that I think you need six to have. I guess he took that city from someone else. Four pit. Oh my God, we're getting our heroes back. Is that it? Did I get them? Did I did I did I did I free them? In the crypt of Quentin? What the hell? Dudes, I deliberately attacked that city because that's where you said my heroes were. And then you zip zoop bibbity booped. Teleport hacks me. You goddamn rude dudes.
Uh, you're at 80. You're at 60. I think these guys just go straight down. down the floor or can't I uh -oh. uh, do I need a headlong assault here probably not To do with these guys that seems like a bit of a liability at the moment if cast an enemy tier through the army sustains an additional 50 percent damage demoralized and condemned Sustains 20 fire damage, 20 spirit damage. So let's do this. We can start blasting them. Uh, who needs to be boosted? Your army does. Ooh, uh. Run out of things to build. Cross wall releases a vassal. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to do it. tired of the fight we'll never get out of here otherwise and i'm at like a pretty big risk with my main hero there so we got one more guy left to go let's push through it conquered a free city that could have it your troops are in another castle they moved all the dead enemies when running away yep we've got these guys locked in Hayesbury, silver tongue focus our remains have been returned to us of nasala and sarinta we're going to bring these guys back to life. Oh. I don't have enough to bring back the other guy, but we will. We gained a vassal. Where's our homie respawned? Over here. Uh, he actually needs a real army. Not one of these smiting armies. But I feel like I could just find a real army for him you know what actually i say that i don't think that's true i think he's gonna need a custom built cadillac coupe de ville put him down here clear this trash out Doesn't need the Shrine of Smiting. He can have the rest. We'll deal with however that Imperium works out. Oh, cancel. Got a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, where are our teleporters? There. Oh, there's one actually right here. This demon gate counts. Uh, so we're going to just teleport everybody 
up north to uh, Zahatur through Gauntlet. He's actually remaking this teleporter finally. And we are just going to do one massive charge towards this capital city. Oh, yeah. Just going to do a little quick save, quick load, because intern is not working. Moving fast, fast, fast. We're probably going to have to do a couple of big fights, but I'm hoping we can get to do them with our good, good, good armies. Turn 140. What is the end turn? A 200? Two, 200. So we have 60 turns tops, uh, but obviously we're not going to get we should be able to get through that much quicker. Uh, it may be a situation where we take his city and he's still like, I don't care. Spelljammer's way back there. Yeah, I think I just cut straight for the city and we just try to drop down. That ought to make the most sense. The original alliance is reunited. <laughs> Are you good again? He's actually very good now, which is kind of funny. Grudges due to expired grievances. It was him becoming evil. That was the real, the real twister. Blade Hollow falls. Then he's got to fall back and save his other cities. He managed to take Silver Fence back. So that's good. Progress. If I could get in here, I would just attack him from the underground, but. Looks like there's a lot of Demon Gate teleporting happening. Rakvek. Okay. Gonna pull, 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 pull. You guys are camping. You guys are camping. You're camping. You guys just chill. Pull. Chill. Pull. I'm a little bit worried. We're going to start a teleporter clog. does look like it's happened why because he's there really you guys can't figure out how to go through the goddamn teleporter first what I don't understand why this teleporter is not working. Only six units allowed per army. All 
or whatever. Got another round of thick boy bottoms for you. Actually, I have to switch your mask out. How come you keep re-equipping this mask? Is it because I don't click confirm? That's definitely what it is. He's already like trying to threaten me. Uh, let's get some bounties going. For some of his smaller cities, perhaps. Keystone or Coal Haven? Let's go Coal Haven here. Give them something to do. Uh, can I get maybe a Phoenix down? Requires two Archon blood. What do you mean? If only I had some way of clearing this off. Well, now me not having enough points, that's a different story. Here we go. You've got lots of loot. Oh, you actually belong to one of my friends somehow. That's okay. Lots of loot, but lots of trash loot. That army trainer is not a terrible choice to grab someone. I'm just going to make Phoenix down real fast. Because why not? And how are we on turns? Nine to the next rally? I'm going to just feed Bronze Gate as many uh, units as I can until it's just to join its next fight. And hopefully they go on a big brouhaha. He pushed back the Mistwalkers again. I'm really glad the Mistwalkers keep attacking him over and over. Keeping his city at 16 population. It's kind of mean, but... I appreciate it. It is a very cool underground on this map. Like the way the water path kind of spirals all the way over. You never really see it do such a big loop around. Like it feels like everything should be connected, but there's these little pockets, including our own, where we are safe. I think we have one territory left that we can grow into. But we just have like 66 food, so we barely grow at all. Uh, the rat has gone back to the void, so he must have just lost a big fight somewhere. I'm 
Yeah, I mean, we got vassals all over the place hitting everybody they can. Sounded like it was underground. This I said we were going to give to Bronze Gate. <laughs> so many fire giants. Join their expedition. There we go. Final banishment. All non hero corpses on the map are destroyed. We'll build all of that. Okay, why are like none of my units moving here? Something is like glitched out with this teleporter, I think. over there by Quentin seems to be working without issue I don't know maybe it's just something like with the demon gate all right A big part makes me wonder whether or not I could convince him to rejoin our alliance. But I guess he does hate all of the things we like. And he likes all of the things we hate. So even if he's become pure good. Interesting how many characters have become like really good. Like, nobody is evil on the map right now? It feels bizarre. It feels like something you don't normally see. It used to be everybody ended up being really evil because you would take so many penalties from, like, pillaging. Pillaging your merry little way as you went along. Yeah, we definitely got to do something with like the, all those fire giants that we have. Start throwing them at at a brick wall. All these like rally armies. Kind of got to get rid of them. Yes, this is looking good. This looks like maybe the goblins are on the march. Two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, yeah. They stomped them here. Oh, my God. There's a teleporter right here now, too. Uh, I kind of want this guy just to walk because everybody else needs to take that teleporter. We've unlocked the final banishment. I don't even know what to pick up anymore. If I took Frostling Transformation, I'd get immunity to Frozen and plus three Frost Resistance, as well as Arctic Walk. But it just doesn't feel right. I, I 
guess I could take scrying? I never would have thought I'd have this many tomes. To gaze beyond the Why are you guys over there? Okay, okay. Okay. Is there room for you? Directly on the teleporter, maybe? No. Okay, you'll have to go down here. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Something I should have done a while ago. Can you not build an outpost up here? I could build an outpost there. All right, we're going to figure it out. Uh, we've got another round of Ascended Warriors. I guess your army would benefit. Your army would also benefit quite a bit. You have an Iron Golem in here. It's such a weird choice. You know what? I'm just going to hold it one round so that we can move some units around. If I can only get that spell every so many turns, I might as well get maximum use out of it. I could also just save it. Give it to him. Rush out two golden golems next turn. Get him immediately up to champion. Send him to the front lines to get revenge. So, like, he has this, like, one city down here. Actually, he has two cities down here. I'm a little worried about like how many reinforcements he can get up here at any given time to the point that I'm wondering whether or not I said part of an army to just block this teleporter and maybe siege the city. But at the same time, I don't know, yeah, like all of his other places seem to be getting hit pretty hard by goblins right now. I think we just got to put the pressure. Materium City looks kind of cool. I feel like you don't normally see them above ground. All right, independence, y'all moved. The million vassals that are on the map. The chairman of the Iron Hand Council approaches you with a glimmer of greed in his eyes. These are blessed times for the Iron Hands. By decree of the council, we wish to establish a custom of pilgrimage to the Imperial Horde so that all Iron Hands may marvel at its glittering beauty. Materium Affinity. Cities of this race gain one stability for each 70 gold in the controller's global gold reserve. Yeah. That's, uh... That won't be a problem. <laughs> I don't think with our money that that's going to be much of an issue. Let's 
two severing golems or the golden golem? Oh, I can do all of them actually. Spell blocked by a spell jammer. By who? My friendly vassal? Get the hell out of here, dudes. You and you. These guys could just move up. Okay, so that's... This guy's going there. This guy's going there. Trash goblins. Trash goblins. Trash goblins. You're real. You're real. And you are real. Uh, that can add to the trash pile. This guy's uh, real, but he's kind of trash. I think I'm just going to move everybody in as a blob. Because that feels like the safest way to do it. Smartest way to do it. This is another stack. This guy's army is built so he can rejoin. Okay. Okay. Did I say mage lock cannons have faithful? No, they don't. The overseers do. Okay. Finally. The merch, the merch is there. Nice income. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. We haven't really had anything to spend mana on because I haven't really had good spells for it. We should start casting Wrath of the Emperor. Though with spell jammers, I don't even know if it's really going to be possible. Uh, I guess I should boost this guy's army one more time. Twice more times. At least once more times. Seventeens versus twenty threes. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be way better for us to have armies of our own shape. I wonder, does being whiteborn make you immune to control loss? It doesn't. I mean, he's fighting such a large war right now that I think I'm just going to completely overwhelm him with numbers. He's trying to defend too many cities at the same time. So there's no way he should be able to stop this. These places are potentially still some problem, but I would have loved to have grabbed one of these so we could have summoned progenitor golems in combat. These would have been really, really fun. These guys are like severing golems, but even cooler. Breach bolt. Seal away enemies. Huh. 120% chance of becoming sealed.
And then he can just like sunder and do damage. Uh, we got the Phoenix down built. Oh yeah, the starry shooty hat needs to be equipped on you. You get his hat after. Let's give you the Phoenix down. You also apparently have a level up. Let's give you meteor strikes. Yeah. All right. The junk goes marching two by two. Hurrah. Part of me is actually like, why don't I, if the teleporter is here, can I build roads? If I go here, can I build roads? Sure as heck can. If just going to build a roadway into a city. How very Roman of you, sir. Just casually building some roads. Oh, I guess you don't need those bronzes. I really don't think we need to even look at building any more units right now <laughs> ah my god my goodness my goodness he will respond to this He'll probably bring up a bunch of people out of here and try to pick off the front row, front row of this army. Alternatively, we might see a lot of people come out of this teleporter. He just saw a lot of people go towards that cave. So maybe he's just trying to stop the goblins and he's ignoring the massive march of flaming angels leading their war machines and giants into his base. I can't tell if the turns are getting quicker or if I'm just like... succumbing to Stockholm Syndrome. Need to intimidate some free cities. Goblin guy, what are you up to? Slowly goblining small amounts of units at a time. Now, all of these guys are meant to be attacking the rat. I summoned him all these legendary fire giants with the intention that and the promise that he would prepare his attack. And I thought he was meant to use all of them at once, but he clears to not be using any of them at all. <laughs> Cry enemy. Astral Severance could be good because I could cast this on like bone dragons, but a base 60% chance of being killed is not that great. Meteor Shower I love. So why don't we just get that? Is he in here? <gasps> That's him. The 
trash armies have already made it. The funny thing is, I don't even think these armies have like a leader in any of them. Like, I don't think they can siege. Okay. 165, so it's going to be like a four, maybe five turn siege. Uh, the great part about this is if I can get everybody underground, I can just plug the entrance to the cave. And if he's here, I don't even have to vassalize him. We can actually siege him down. Yeah, and he just, he didn't respond to this. So this is exactly what's going to happen. We're going to literally surround the city with units. And then I'm just going to plug the cave. So if anybody tries to fight me, they have to fight a 1v3 to get in here to defend. He's too busy with the goblins. You got goblin, you goob. What you gotta do now? And it's both his capital city and he's in it. Let's block that teleporter. He has done a rally. Smart play. Somehow he's only level nine. Poor little ratty. We could have been friends. Remember that you chose this path, rat boy. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the first military victory we've had in so long so long your friend updated his windows 11 now he gets blue screen all the time mm. he's got that cloud strike sounds pretty pretty cloud strikey to me this guy's army kind of sucks all right you come down here you come down there Come down here. Let's get the good people in. You are my lord, who I would like to initiate that siege. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I could start the siege with the goblin rider, so I think I will probably do that. Okay, what do we got? We got nobody with good items. Well, no, that's not true, but we got nobody with good siege items. there's at least three people over there blocking that teleporter block the cave there
We could just win it. Five turns and turns, or do we just win it? I feel like maybe we just win it. We reunite the alliance, the original alliance. I think let's take it. I think let's take it. Look at these. Look at this gang. Military victory. Turn 147. A victor stands proudly upon the remains of their enemies. You subjugated the world through force as the empires of the past did before you. When the dust settles, you will discover whether your cause was just or if you merely fanned the flames of entropy. You know, a big fight would have been nice, but also not sitting there and waiting for a fight to play out pressing and turn five turns waiting 30 minutes also pretty nice shall we do a little overview hell yeah dudes uh, this is crazy i actually thought we at the very beginning i thought for sure we lost this campaign you can see how bad we were doing you know when we dug out those dragons and then we realized like oh we were stuck underneath a vassal city That guy had Quentin. And he was growing like almost a province a turn. And then he popped those early outposts. Goblins in the north, Palisade and Gauntlet. This guy in the middle had Vivin Home and Paragon. Paragons? Faragosk? He, I was shocked that he did so bad, but I guess he was in a really, like, kind of rough location. Center of the map, on the desert. You know, not much you can do with that. This guy over here held up really well for quite a while. Who is this that, like, shot to victory here for a while? Ah, this was, in fact, the rat. He built Nolmok, and then he built Zahatur. And then you can just see his stats go through the roof. He got a third city up really early there. And then I think the wars started for him. All this time, we're still stuck underground. We still haven't made out from underground. Like, I am still fighting the dragons at this point. 50 turns into the game. But our tech has started to, to get up high enough that we're starting to get good golems. purple oh yeah i don't even we barely even saw these guys they started getting wiped out by the rats yes and then finally here turn 59 we pick up stone root we get crefin settled just a couple turns before that dump a ton of imperium into it like every single turn to try and secure these borders purple and brown get wiped out within like a couple turns of each other and then we have this like incredible alliance we move up to winter hold we've got these guys up here but they're boxed in on all sides this guy down here but he's kind of sort of boxed in well he's boxed in because the rat's fighting him as well and the rat is still our ally at this point and we just like take a, a constant path upwards we uh, we basically never dip down except for a little period right here and we trash them to the north just going straight for the capital and breaking their hold on everything else and then gobbling up all the vassals this guy gets destroyed by the rats in a, in a very lucky stroke he was actually still fairly strong you know at three cities and then lost them all Turned all the vassals. And then we're like neck and neck with the dog for first place. Whoo, my God. What a match. What an absolute match. Belsarius Warsmith. Worthy to ascend. We're going to give him artillerist. 
At the start of the owner's turn, marked enemies are struck for 20 physical damage. The other idea was taking Golem Heart. Which is kind of crazy. In that, depending on how you build, you pretty much always have plus 9 defense, plus 9 resistance. Uh, but I think Artillerist is what... That was the original plan. That's what the build was. I like the idea of him just, like, lobbing gunfire on other people. Summon Bolt Repeater is pretty fun, too. We got Disruptor, Earth Hammer, Golem Heart, Martyr, Prophet, Seer, and Subjugator. We're going to go with Artillerist. We cast Gun and Ascend. Big money. 12 points. Damn, dudes. Tier 4 items really get you quite a lot. Unlocked a lot of tomes. Improved a lot of city allegiances. That's for sure. Vassalized a lot of them as well. Conquering, I guess. I mean, you know. Free city vassalized. Another 600 down here as well. 800 there. 1,200 for free city vassalized. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, we do get to unlock the last things that we have to get in here, which is, I think, Dread Sphere. Everything else is not anything that you really visually see. We'll grab, like, the armors. Is this all just, like, rings and accessories now? I think it is. We'll grab the spider leg in honor of the Oops All Spiders campaign. You know what? And then I guess we'll just like work our way down the tree. This is the go deer stuff. We'll get the ring of protection. I am 20 things away from unlocking absolutely everything. That's like two campaigns. But that's going to be all the campaign for now. If you haven't had a chance, hop on the Discord. Take a vote this week in the poll for what you might want to see next. And uh, we'll be bringing some more Age of Wonders soon. Thank you for joining us in the meantime.